Ladies and gentlemen, please hand in your passports. Welcome to the United States land of the free where you, yes, even you, can be your own boss for a price. We just want to party. Party just for you. We just want the money. Money just from you. I know you want to have it. Party just for free. Girl, you got me dancing. Dancing shit for free. We just want the money. Money just from you. We just want to party. Party just from you. I know you want to have it. Party just for free. Girl, you got me dancing. The music goes back in, in black culture and, and, and in a lot of cultures, it goes back to their beginnings, to their origins. And especially for black people, we have always used music to talk about our issues or our problems or our concerns. The way like Chuck D raps it's not like he's like trying to flow or be like melodic with it he's very much in your face and just talking to you the whole elvis line and john wayne he basically like look i don't like any of them that's what people needed that unapologetic this is my voice and this is what i have to say about it it really does give people a voice that they might not have had before or that it's been difficult it's it's easier and it's more appropriate um, to voice your uh, complaints in poetry in music in song with this is america i feel like it was more cleverly done in like not a parody but like satire because when people talk about the song and how powerful the song is, I'm gonna be honest, like if you look at the lyrics, the lyrics aren't, you know, super in-depth at all. You know, he's very much, in my opinion, making sense of the mockery. It's such a simplistic thing. Even in the video, you know, he's just dancing and stuff. It's like, oh, pay attention to this nonsense that I'm doing right now and don't pay attention to what's going on behind me. We get so distracted by a hot beat and some cool, you know, melodic line, because repetition is key. We like things that we can easily remember. If, as long as we have a hot beat with some lines that we can easily remember and sing along with, we forget everything else. And it's interesting to see how a lot of people forget everything else until the very obvious part where he like just shoots all of like the choir. And then it's like, what's going on? But before then, a lot of people didn't catch on to that. Hip hop just exposes all the problems and once you see enough of the problems, you start to see a pattern into, you know, who is it benefiting and who is it impacting. Music plays a huge part um, in our culture. Um, and I don't, I can't think of any black person that I know of that if they hear something from their generation, they won't start to, to kind of bop with it or, you know, uh, you know, move to it. Um, it's used for celebrations. It's used in sorrow. It's used in education. I mean, we we use it all the time because it's a source of. Um, I would say it's it's a source of comfort. I can't imagine a day without music. You know, it it just wouldn't be uh, you know a day. <laughs>